Hey guys, my name is Dave, and welcome to another video. So the topic I'm going to talk about today, I don't usually talk about at all, but I think for me, at least right now, this would be kind of important to talk about. And that is, well... I have, I have a confession to make. This is nothing in regards to the channel itself, but more about me. Many of you already know I don't like talking about politics and I don't like talking about religion. One of those two topics as blasphemic as it might be, I think that's the term, blasphemic. You get the point. I'm going to be talking about as for myself. And that's, well, religion. I'm not going to say, for those of you who don't know it, I'm not going to say what religion I'm part of. But I am going to kind of, which one I am part of, I am going to kind of talk about in a kind of cryptic way while I'm talking about this. Either way around, let's go ahead and get started. I took a two year, two and a half year hiatus from the religion that I am a part of. Recently just started back up again. Three weeks ago. The hiatus ended thanks to my fiance, to Amber. Now what ended the what started the hiatus in the first place was people. The people were cruel, they were they didn't, weren't understanding. They were basically what everyone calls a Karen nowadays. There were a lot of Karens in the church that I went to. A lot of them. So I stopped going. I needed to find myself because I didn't know anymore. But there was a promise that I made when I did start the hiatus. The promise said that when I find the right person, they would successfully bring me back. And in a sense, you, would, you wouldn't really think that's a promise. But the thing is, this was something that I felt strongly I needed to bind myself to. It would give me a reason to go back. I would have, I'd be doing it for some kind of purpose. Because just going for myself, it didn't feel like I was doing that at all. So I didn't. Stopped going. Mustered through relationship after relationship. And, well, About a month or so after I met Amber, she said something to me that, well, brought back a memory of that promise that I had slightly forgotten. She told me she would do whatever she needed to to bring me back into the said church that we are both now from. It's very ironic because the thing that made me leave is the thing that brought her in. She was blessed enough to be able to find the right people. Those who actually, well, cared. I was unfortunate enough to not have those at the time. Amber, well, she successfully did what she said she would three weeks ago. 
as of this recording. Now this recording is being done prior to me going the third week, but I am going to go. I made a promise to myself, and in turn, after proposing to her, I promised to her. She, I, she, I, I remember she asked me to promise her to go with her every week. It was after the proposal that she did, but she did ask me to promise her that, and I agreed. I told her that I had already promised myself the same thing. The reason I left in the first place is because I was starting to believe there was no one good left. But something inside me told me there was, but that person would need to be found first. And she was. Quite frankly, this story will drag on for a while, um, but if I'm being realistic, the person to thank for that is Christian, Life Adventures of Christian. He's the one who introduced me to Amber in the first place. Now, this was during the time period, this was during a time period where I was still looking, and... Amber was roommates with another, a now ex of mine, permanently too, and also an ex of Christian's. And when I first met Amber, I could already tell off the bat that she and I were going to be very, very close. Even if it wasn't, you know, what it is now. I'm very grateful it is what it is now, but still... I guess... When I first proposed to her... It wasn't... It had nothing to do with the promise I made. In fact, I wasn't considering the promise either when I did. But... And she did bring me back. It was like that promise was activating itself. She brought me back and the area felt different. It wasn't the same place I had been to a couple years ago. I mean, physically it was, but... The aura of the place was... Calming. Not tense like it was at this point two and a half years ago, but it was very... Calm. Very... In a sense... Surreal place that I felt I wanted to be. place where I hadn't felt this in a while, but I felt welcomed. It's unfortunate because that particular building I won't be going to for much longer than max a year. But still, that church is one of millions that exist. Maybe billions. I don't even know at this point. I, my brain has never been good with this kind of numerical thing. I'm good at math, but not under this front. It's mind-blowing to me how things turned out. There are several things that I did over the course in time while I was in my hiatus that as I started going back I not gonna lie I did regret I started saying mental prayers of forgiveness I 
didn't know what to do. I never talked about this with Amber, with Christian, or with anybody else who was connected to the same church as that we are. But... I knew one thing for sure. The hiatus that I was on was over. It wasn't needed anymore. By that time, I had found myself. I knew who I needed, not just needed, but wanted to be. I knew my purpose, which was another thing that I was looking for in that time range. And there were many other things as well. Even, just like, although one thing still stands, going in, I had one, I had two people I could call friends. Coming out, I still have two people I can call friends, but this time, this time I have someone who I can call much, much more than that. And that someone... proved one other thing to me. Each individual out there has a light for them. Somewhere. Each individual has someone who's always willing to reach out their hand and go, let me help you. Let me be there for you. And actually mean it. All of you who have stuck with me for long enough know that I struggled with several individuals. Individuals who did that, but were faking it. I can say this much for sure. I've had enough experiences in my life to know that sometimes it takes longer than other... For some people, it takes longer than other people, but... That one individual who will be there, when it's most dire and each individual will have a different point in time where their most dire is there there's always going to be that one person who that one person is I give up on trying to say that I know because I don't I'm not even going to deny it. I don't know I never would have guessed Amber was going... In a million years, I never would have guessed up until recently that Amber was that person for me. I'm highly grateful she was because she gave me... She gives me literally every little thing that I do need. I don't mean want. I actually do mean need. One thing that I did notice, though in the change. This isn't just a church thing either. This is, well, a morale change. The person that you need in your life, the person that, that, think what Amber is for me, I think I've noticed while helping other individuals as well is that they will change you in a more matured kind of way. If your mental state doesn't change from the last relationship, you might not be with the right person. Or maybe you are. I don't know. But for me, each individual up until her, it was the same mental state over and over again. I felt like I couldn't find myself. I couldn't find out who I was, what I wanted to be, what I needed in my life. Until I came across her, she gave me a different mental state, a different mindset, one that I can't just describe. I guess of all the things I've admitted here, I guess the major confession is this. Thank uh -huh.
Don't call it a confession. Call it admittance. I know who I am and I know what I need. I know my purpose. Part of it is to keep doing this. This is never going to stop. This is something that's more like a journal to me. It'll keep record of the kind of me's that have passed over time. That's why I'm never getting rid of the vlog part of this. Some of the gaming ones I had to get rid of just because I felt like they were stupid cringy and they weren't really doing... They weren't really cutting to that point that I was looking for. Although some of them are still staying. That being said... What I need to admit is that I have changed. May not be up from visible, and I have had a lot of people hate on me for it, but I have changed to a point that betters me and betters those who I care about more than anything else. May not be visible yet to some, maybe it's up from visible already, but it is the case. And I'm looking forward to seeing what happens. This is all thanks to the one person who brought me back to where I was before. I feel like I've gone back to square one, but this time with a new renewed mindset. Got stuck at square something and I got sent back to the start with a little bit more knowledge on how to progress throughout the game. Let's put it this time. Either way around, metaphors, admittance, all that kind of stuff aside, I'm going to leave this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Um, I guess you could say this is an about me vlog, in a sense. If you liked this one, please push that like button and so far you can't sit anymore. If you like these kind of videos where I talk about myself, um, consider checking out the channel if you have not yet, uh, sharing out this video, and clicking the links on the side of my head to other vlogs that I do. I also do gaming stuff daily, or at least I try to. If I don't succeed, I get back to it at least the next day. But vlogs are definitely a daily thing for me. Um, so definitely check out the channel if you have not yet. Once again, huge shout out to Life Inventions of Christian and Amber, my fiance, or the Pink Fox. Uh, I'll try to leave a link in the description below to their channels. Pink Fox only does like every now and then short story kind of things. Christian does vlogs kind of, kind of like this, except they're more motivational than this is. Um, yeah. Either way around, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for watching this video, guys. And as I pop my arms, I hope to see you all in another one. Bye for now.